welcome to another installment of Mr. ACAT Tutorials. Today we will be learning how to create this L bracket. Like always, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, write them down in the comment section and I will answer them as soon as possible. So let me go ahead and open up a new part here. First I'm going to go ahead and start a 2D sketch. For this drawing I'm going to select this horizontal plane. I'm going to go to a rectangle, click on the third option, the one says two point center. Click on the center point. And I'm going to go ahead and make this three by four and a half. So four and a half and three. Enter. Finish sketch. And there we can see four and a half by three. I'm going to extrude this 0.75. Enter. Now I'm going to make the hole over here. Remember this hole right here? I'm going to go ahead and make that now. So I'm going to start a 2D sketch on this surface. Use my line tool. And it doesn't matter how big I make it right now. I'm going to go ahead and give this drawing some dimensions here in a little bit. So now that I've drawn this box, I'm going to go to dimension. And I want this to be 1.5. You see how it came below it? So I'm going to go ahead and tell it this right here. I'm going to constraint this to this line. There you go. Same thing with the side. And then the dimension on this side is going to be 0.5. Same thing with this other side to make it symmetrical. 0.5. Enter. So that's how big the hole is going to be. So let's go ahead and finish sketch. Extrude this right here. And we're going to actually do an extrude cut. So we're going to cut into the object, see? So we're going to subtract it. Press OK. That creates that hole right there. Next, we're going to build this back part. So I'm going to start to sketch again on the surface. Yes, that is the bell. I am at school. I'm going to go ahead and do this one right here. There's two points. And I'm going to click on this corner. And then it's going to be 3 inches wide. But it's only going to be 0.75 on the depth. So 0.75 times 3. Finish the sketch. And I'm going to go ahead and extrude this. Now, I don't... Now, I want to make this entire object 2.5 inches so in case i don't remember how tall this was or if i can't do math i can go ahead and type in 2.5 minus and this was 0.75 and so inventor will do the math for us and you'll see the same thing as typing 1.25 so, okay And now I'm going to start a sketch on this front surface here. And I'm going to do go two inches from the right hand side over here. Go two inches in. Go one inch. One inch down. And I'm going to go ahead and connect that to this right here. And so I have built a triangle over here at this corner. So I'll finish that sketch. I'm going to extrude. I'm going to cut. Press OK. So that builds that. So we're almost done. We're just missing this little circle here. So I'm going to start a 2 d sketch right here on this surface. Do a circle. And then again, it doesn't really matter where you put it. 
Let's make it 0.75. Enter. And I'm going to go ahead and go from the bottom here to the center of the circle. I want it to be 2.67. 2.67. Enter. And then from this edge to the center of the circle, I want it to be 1.5. That aligns my circle. Now I'm going to extrude. Same thing, extrude cut. Just OK. And there is the finished L bracket. The way to make it look like the one I have is just change the color. To red. And then what I did is I went to view and change from orthographic to perspective. So it just gives it a little bit different perspective, but same object. You can see, and that's how we do this L bracket. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if you have any questions, make sure you write them down in the comment section below and I will answer them as soon as possible. Thank you.